Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk empties. All right, you guys. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I'm barefaced. I took a shower. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my makeup. I was like, you know what? No, never mind. Um, it is late. So let's get started. Little man is already in bed. All of this behind me are empties. So let's get going. Minus my laptop, which you guys can see. But that's fine. All right. First things first is the Garnier Nutrice Nourishing Color, Color Foam. It is the conditioner that came inside of my um, hair dye. But it's like you use some of it and then two weeks later you use the rest of it. It took me a lot longer to go through this, obviously. Um, so, there is that. I wish that they, I wonder if they sell, well, I already used Tresemme in my hair. You guys will see other shampoo as well. Um, nine times out of ten I use Tresemme and then once a week you guys will see the one that I do use. So, for like a, I'll explain later. But, this is the first thing. And it's empty. All right, moving on. Talking about what I'm trying to tell you guys. So my hair is that type of hair that if it uses the exact same sh shampoo and conditioner, um, it gets oily and greasy, and then it damages, and my hair hates it. So I have to go between two different shampoos. So my Day-to-day -day shampoo is the Tresemme shampoo. Um, and then you guys will see a couple other shampoos, but nine times out of ten. Now, when Dollar Tree had their whole Bolero brand craziness, um, I still have that shampoo too, but my hair just doesn't like it. So, um, Jameson likes that shampoo in his bubble bath, which is totally fine with me. So obviously it's not gone yet. That's why it's not here. Literally the entire Bolero brand I still have. You guys will see some stuff here, but most of it I still have. So this is the one that I use. This is the one that my hair loves. This is the daily clarifying shampoo from Suave. I use this twice a week. I have to wash my hair every other day. Um, if not every day, depending on how greasy it gets. Um, I don't understand people or people are sent to the gut hair gods if they're able to go a week without shampooing their hair. Because this girl cannot. Um, so this is what I use once or twice a week depending on how often I wash my hair. I mean, not how often. Yeah, how often I wash my hair. Because I could go one, maximum two days. Um, but that's sometimes. Sometimes I can't even go a day. So in the morning, if I feel like I need to wash my hair, I wash my hair. Um, I wish I didn't have to wash my hair every day. But um, I use this one. So I alternate between the black and white bottle of Tresemme and this one. So the black one is the shampoo, the white one is the conditioner, and this one. Um, so while I was using this, I while I was using this, I was using this as my conditioner. I still have a lot of this conditioner. Nine times out of 10, I go through two bottles of shampoo per one bottle of conditioner, unless I dye my hair. So there's that. Long spiel for nothing. All right, you guys. I had to run in real quick and um, get body wash when I needed it. So I just grabbed, I go between the Suave and, I can't remember. I gotta go tomorrow and get some. So I'll show you guys eventually in an empties. But this didn't smell bad. It's normally my husband's body wash, but I just grabbed two and so that way we can use it together. Um, so it is what it is. Body wash is body wash. This was the Ocean Breeze scent. I love it. I love the two. I mean, I'll repurchase them time and time again, and I will repurchase my hair dye. All right. Moving on is the Bolero Hydra Mist Coconut 
water face wash. I don't like it. It's too watery. So when I used it the first time and I didn't like it, it's okay. I used it to clean my makeup brushes. So this is what I used to clean my makeup brushes. Um, and yeah. So there's that. All right, moving on to something that I use for Jameson. This is the original Sprout Hair Body Baby Wash. I know, crazy. Still baby wash? Yes. His hair is ridiculous. I have to wash it twice. And I bathe him every other day because it's, it's so dry here. So I bathe him every other day unless he gets dirty. But... This boy, if I don't use this, it still has, he still gets cradle crap, cradle cap. I call it cradle crap because it's a crap to deal with. He still gets that, but also, um, come on, Danielle, think. When you wash his hair the first time. It smells like a wet dog, so I have to wash it again for it to smell clean. <laughs> and then sometimes two twice, sometimes three times. He hates washing his hair. But this is what I use. I get it from the salon, so where he gets his hair cut. <clears throat> All right, moving on. This is the French Honey Lavender Spray from Bath & Body Works. The cap is missing because... Um, my dog chewed on the cap that went to one of them. So once this was gone, I just took it off and put it on that one. I love it and I will repurchase it. So far, the only thing I'm not going to repurchase is the Hydra Mist Coconut Water Face Wash. Um, because I'm going to switch to Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner, which I've been recommended a ton. All right, moving on. This is the LA Color Contour and Highlighting stick. I used it till it was to the nub, um, but I'm not going to repurchase it. I didn't like it. I'm not even going to sharpen this. It's just going to go to the trash. Um, wasn't a fan. So there's that. I'm not a huge fan of cream contouring, but it's more of the highlight that I hated because it's yellow. It's legit yellow. So, and it's the lightest one that they had. All right. Moving on, this is the Ulta Beauty Simple Clean Moisturizing Body Wash. I used this when we went camping, and then from there, I just used it to use it up. Um, I loved it. It smelled really good. Will I repurchase it? I don't know. Because I'm trying to use those reusable travel ones, so I'm just going to use my regular body wash. So probably not. I probably won't repurchase it. It's not bad. It's just I'd rather use the reusable containers. So there's that. All right. Moving on is the LA, LA Girl LA Color Lip Oil. When my lips are super, super chapped, I love this. When my lips are normal, I hate it. And I mean, it went, it took forever to go through. Because nine times out of ten, my lips aren't chapped. It is a lip oil. Not my favorite. So I will not repurchase it. Alright. Moving on. Sorry you guys are not able to see them. But these are the LA Color Danity 7 975 Lashes. I'm getting into lashes, which is why I purchased a cheap pair of lashes. Um... But, I don't know, I'd rather get the Ardell Demi Wispies, which are my new favorites, because I'm not a huge lash person, but I don't like that even when I put mascara on um, with dramatic looks, it doesn't look right, which is why I got into lashes, minus Brandy, but they were fine for to try them, but... Now that I know how to put them on, I don't have any issues. All right, moving on. This is just some nail polish remover. Will I repurchase it? Yeah, I mean, it's a nail polish remover, so 
and it was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. So, I mean, it took my nail polishes off. It took my nail polish off. So, yeah, I'll reuse it. I'll repurchase it, hands down. All right, moving on. This is the Coconut Oil and Sea Salt Creamy Lather Body Wash. Not a fan. Again, it's too watery. I won't repurchase it, which is why I had to buy this one. Um, won't repurchase it, but, I mean, I have two other scents that I have to finish going through. Once I'm done, I don't think I'm going to, this is going to kill me to say, I don't think I'm going to purchase anything from the Bolero brand minus the, um, Bath Fizzies. So, there's that. I mean, it took too long for me to go through. This is the also the coconut oil sea salt. This is the face wash. This is not face wash. Okay? This is lotion that has sand in it. Not a face wash at all. It doesn't exfoliate too much. I mean, it exfoliates, but not the way I want it to exfoliate my face. So, not a fan of that either. Next thing is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I do not like the formula, but I love the wand, if that makes sense. So will I repurchase it just for the wand? Probably not. Um, actually, no. It doesn't help lengthen my lashes. It doesn't help make them fuller. It just coats them pretty much, and it takes... A lot of coats to get my lashes where I want them to be. I did get this in a um, Ipsy bag. Again, I won't repurchase it. I won't purchase full size. Once it's gone, it's gone. Won't purchase it anymore. So, that is everything. Those are all of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will. All right, you guys. I have no idea where that cut off. I think I was saying goodbye. Um, but I just quickly wanted to come in here and rant talk I don't know how to explain it um so here are my things thinking this is what I'm thinking okay besides after the after series if you haven't watched it it's on Netflix and then there's a book series the books are better um I'm listening to it on audible but you know y'all decide but get into them. They're so good. All right. Now. I don't know where to start. Okay. My meal plan videos, just my videos of me showing you my meal plan are not getting the attention that I wish that they would. So I could do two separate videos still for the ones who like it. So that's option number one. Option number two is to do my meal plan and my grocery haul in one whole video. So it's going to be long because you know how my grocery hauls are. Or do you want me to do my meal plan in my grocery haul this month um, and see how you guys like it? So those are your three options, and if you choose, um, the two separate, keep them separate, do you want to see my meal plan first or my grocery haul first? Because we are literally going shopping in two days. So, let me know <clears throat> on how you guys want to do this, because... I need to get my traffic up because I'm wanting to get more subscribers. Thank you for all the ones who have continued to subscribe. Thank you for the ones who are here now. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of YouTube stuff. Share. Um, get my videos out there. My plan is to hit a thousand subscribers by my one year mark. You guys know that that's coming up soon. So, that is my plan, or at least hit a thousand, because I've almost been doing YouTube for a year. Can you guys believe that? That's crazy. 
I think I started in March. Let me look. Let me look, let me look, and I'll sh tell you. When I first put up my first very, my first video. <clears throat> my very first YouTube video. <clears throat> Puberty just hit, sorry. Um... was put up behind the scenes of YouTube. Hang on one second. We have 130 videos, what? No. I put my first video up on January 5th, so I know I'm not going to reach it then, um, but my technically that was my channel, my channel trailer, so my next video was February 3rd. That's crazy that I've been doing YouTube for almost a year. That's insane. I want to cry. <laughs> so my goal is by my two year mark of doing YouTube is to reach a thousand. I'm going to give it another year. See where I'm at. Um, I, I will never quit YouTube. I will put it out there right now. Uh, this is my outlet. This is my sanity this is where i'm able to get away from life and do what i love which is what you guys see on my channel so all right you guys that is it i will see you guys in my next one please like comment subscribe answer that question i asked you guys let me know what other videos you guys want to see give me video options give me video ideas also there's another question. Do you guys want to see in the month of December, seven days of cookies? Say what? You're right. A video every single day for the month of December with cookies. Cause I think I might do it to one. So it'll be like a cookie series. Haven't decided if it's going to be seven full days or 14 full days. Haven't decided. Um, or I could do a cookie video every single day leading up to Christmas. But I think that might be a little bit overkill. Because that's 25 different cookies. Um, let me know. 12 days of cookies you want seven days of cookies or 12 days of cookies like the 12 days of Christmas um let me know I think that's kind of a good idea to do minus there'll be like a grocery haul or I could just do the grocery haul film it edit it have it ready to go live after the cookie series so let me know if you guys want to see a cookie series on my channel um and let me know how you guys want me to do my meal plan and grocery haul videos. Give me video ideas. Honestly, let's get down in the comments and chat, you guys. There's a hundred and... Hang on, hang on, hang on. As of right now, because I don't want to jinx anybody. As of right now, my channel is at... Come on. Come on, YouTube. 134 subscribers. That is where my channel is at. There's 134 of you guys that are subscribed to my channel. So let's go down into the comments and let's talk. I got all that off my chest now. Um, 
I might just do a question video. Um, also, another one is if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'm going to do a Q&A very soon. I may be able to get Hubby involved in the Q&A. We will see, depending on how many questions are with him in them. Um, so, yeah. And then maybe, Jameson, maybe we could do a family Q&A and get hubby's and jameson's out of the way first and then my questions um so that way if for whatever reason jameson goes crazy um daddy can go take care of him but let me know questions cookie video yes or no and if you yes seven or twelve days and then how do you want me to do my meal plan because me doing my meal plan video just in and of itself going through what my meal plan is, is not getting the traffic that I want. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm done chatting now. See you guys next time. Bye.